case four is an 80 year old woman with uh, multiple medical problems in her history. Uh, she's got there's a bunch of medical problems, so we don't really know if that's that's helpful or not. Here we see images from a CT of the brain. You have it in the brain window and then also in the bone window there. Hopefully it's not too surprising where the abnormality is. So the patient went on to have an MRI. This is a DWI on the left and ADC on the right. Here we have T2 weighted images. Uh, this is T2 on the left here and this is flare on the right. These are pre and post contrast images. So hopefully by now you should be thinking about what your, your potential diagnoses are. So this is a differential case. So I want to know what your top three differentials are. And your follow-up question is what pathologic grades of meningioma receive radiation therapy after a section? So to get this question right, you need to know number one, how many grades of meningioma there are and number two, which ones receive radiation. So just give that a thought. So your differential in this case is relatively short uh, when you have these osseous lesions that are involving the calvarium and then are extending beyond the calvarium. Primarily, you want to think about lymphoma, metastatic disease, uh, like we saw in the previous case, or myeloma, uh, then meningioma is also a consideration here. Uh, this particular one happens to be a meningioma. Now, meningiomas are the most common brain tumors. They're the most common extraaxial masses. They typically are pretty homogeneous. Uh, they can be T2 variable, but are often uh, are sometimes bright. Uh, they will they can have T2 dark areas of stipple calcification or kind of linear spoke-like T2 uh, hypo hypo intensities. You can get hyperostosis of the adjacent bone. They typically are very avidly enhancing and hyperperfusing. They're also FDG avid, so PET will not necessarily help you differentiate from lymphoma or metastatic disease. You have to think about whether there's mass effect, whether there is bone involvement, and whether the adjacent parenchyma is involved, and whether it's edema or whether the parenchyma itself is enhancing. Uh, grades of meningiomas are one to three, so there's no grade four meningioma. The most common is grade one meningioma, which are the typical meningiomas. These are treated with resection alone. Grade two and grade three meningiomas are resected and irradiated afterwards. They uh, are more likely to have brain invasion and uh, they have a higher increasing likelihood of recurrence as the grade gets higher. Now grading is a histologic feature. You can't really tell on imaging. There are a few features that might make you think about a higher grade meningioma, such as more edema, more parenchymal enhancement. Uh, that would suggest brain invasion. Rapid doubling time can also suggest a higher grade of meningioma. So here we see the images that I showed you on the left. There's a CTO at the brain window. You see there's a mass here. Uh, something very dense is kind of filling up the extraaxial space here. You see model areas where the bone is lost. If you change to the brain, I mean the bone windows rather here, you see there's bone loss here, areas where the cortex is destroyed and then mass uh, on the outside of the calvarium as well. And this is simply confirmed on the MRI. You see it's somewhat bright on DWI and dark on ADC. This kind of suggests that there's something cellular that's pretty packed tightly there. And then on your T2, you might get this idea that it's an extraaxial mass. Particularly, you see like maybe there's a few areas where there's a little cleft of CSF here, but uh, you're kind of thinking this is centered either in the bone or along the extraaxial space. Uh, flare helps you a little bit. You can just make out that there's quite a bit of edema uh, superimposed on what is likely some mild microvascular disease. The pre and post contrast are quite helpful here. You see it's pretty hypo intense on the pre contrast, uh, probably a little bit uh, similar to muscle or a little bit lower. And on post contrast, it's avidly enhancing. You see enhancement of the bone itself and uh, sort of nodular mass uh, within the cranial vault as well as outside the calvarium. So as we talked about uh, histologic grades of meningiomas that are radiated are grades two and three, there are no grade four meningiomas. So B and D are excluded and this would be all of the meningiomas. Uh, so that's a little bit of a trick question. Here you see an example of a similar looking case, but this one turns out to be B cell lymphoma. Again, you see 
there's destruction of the calvarium here, so kind of a model appearance to the calvarium. You see it's somewhat more heterogeneous on T2 here, a little bit more heterogeneous enhancement, but it's quite similar and you may not be able to differentiate them. Here you see a similar case, and this happens to be a myeloma. So again, you have bone destruction, loss of this normal bone here, a relatively dense extraaxial mass on CT that's avidly enhancing. So these are both post-contrast images. They're avidly enhancing here, and this is myeloma. So you really have to have a pretty thorough differential in these cases.